Guys and gals, I'm here with Josh from Dreamwave Wrestling, still at C2E2. Josh, how you doing today, man? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for uh, coming over. Yeah, no problem. This is your first convention? Yep, this is the first time uh, we've been, uh, Dreamwave Wrestling has been running for, uh, we just passed our six-year anniversary in April. Um, we're, we're fans of the conventions. Um, I've been to a couple myself, but we've never, uh, this was the first time we actually decided to, to host a booth here, so... Needless to say, we're uh, we're pretty pleased with how it's gone so far. I, I was just going to ask you how you like how the turnout's coming. Oh, it's been great. Uh, I mean, we had uh, Scott Hall um, at our show in March. Um, it was one of the biggest houses we've had in LaSalle. It was a great show. Um, brought him back here, obviously. Uh, Scott Hall and X-Pac still draw in Chicago. So, yeah, we got... Uh, one hell of a line. We got Del Rio and uh, Ricardo tomorrow and uh, Matt Hardy uh, in on Sunday. So uh, we're, you know, for this being the first day, we're super stoked for the rest of it. Now, for throwing something like this and this being your first time being at a convention, was it a lot? Did you find it difficult at all to have all this set up? Uh, no, you know, it was a little bit different. Um, there was a lot of, like, uh, you know, different forms and different things we had to fill out for, like, the booth space. Um, as far as booking the talent-wise, no. I mean, it's... Uh, we book people. We run on a monthly basis. We've been booking people for our shows for six years. So, you know, getting Scott and X-Pac here and the other guests that we have, that wasn't a problem. It's just, you know, sometimes working with some of the building stuff is a little bit different. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's the first time, so uh, something we're learning from. So tell me about Dreamwave Wrestling, because I've never heard of it until about a couple weeks ago when I was contacting the company via Twitter to try to set up some interviews. So now you guys got me interested. I'm here. Talent aside, like I said, we're wrestling fans, and I see what you guys got going on here. So tell me about Dreamwave Wrestling. So Dreamwave Wrestling, we run in LaSalle, Illinois, which is about it's about 90 miles uh, southwest of O'Hare, um, 55 and Route 80 west. Uh, we've been running for six years. Um, and it's a, it's a PG, family-friendly show, but we kind of have a little bit of everything. So we have everything from, you know, we have our big stars, you know, big guests coming in every month. Um, we have guys from all over the country, all over the world, come in and wrestle for us. Um, guys like Thomas Ochampa, A.R. Fox, uh, ROH, Roderick Strong, you know, guys like that kind of come over, and we, we have a little bit of everything, Colt Cabana, you know, so there's comedy, there's athletic contests, there's, you know, storylines, there's old school guests for casuals, you know, we have a little bit of, of everything for everybody, so everything from, you know, a five-year-old kid that watches Raw every week on Monday to, you know, your 60-year-old grandfather who's been watching wrestling for 40 years can enjoy the show, so um, it's great, we, we do really well, and, um, you know, we're happy to keep going. Now, with the internet being as easy to access as, you know, everybody can do whatever they want. Hell, we're, this is living proof. But uh, what makes your company, like, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is all of the smaller uh, brands that are out there, what differentiates you from, like, any other brand? The experience. Um, when you're at Dreamwave Live, and this is no joke, and Scott and Xbox would tell you the same thing. Like, when you're in our building live, it's, it's different. It's a different vibe. It's a different atmosphere. We're in an old school Knights of Columbus building. Um, it's, we set it up, um, it looks very similar to, like if you used to see like old school, like NWA TV taping kind of setting where it's a little bit dark. We have banners up on the wall of like all of our guys kind of hanging around. You know, we have video, we have sound, we have lighting, we have everything. And it's just an intimate atmosphere. And so we're doing you know, anywhere from, you know, 400 to 600 people a show every single month in a, you know, tight, intimate venue. And it's just, you know, people come in, they boo the bad guys, cheer the good guys. And uh, it's just a great atmosphere. So once you're there and you see it live, it's different than anything you'll see anywhere else. Tell me about some of your top stars. Uh, well, we have a few of them here. Uh, Christian Rose. Uh, Nick Brubaker, uh, Matt Cage. Um, we, we have a lot of guys. We have, a, like I said, a kind of a mix of Midwest talent, um, uh, Marche Rocket, um, and guys from across the country. So if you're familiar with the indie style, you know, you're Joey Ryan and Candice from PWG. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's, the list goes on. Like I said, Thomas Ochampa, a lot of ROH, Roderick Strong. We kind of mix them with the Midwest scene. So a lot of times people that, um, like I said, are internet fans, maybe they see clips of Roderick Strong on 
you know, the internet or watch ROH, but they've never actually seen him live because the only appearances he's ever done are for ROH. Right. So we put them in a different environment working, you know, Midwest local guys. It's a different different type of vibe, different type of, of match. So, um, and we got a lot of talented guys, um, you know, guys who've uh, gotten WWE tryouts, guys who are currently, you know, on the, on the lookout from there. Um, CJ Parker, a guy who was in NXT, uh, he's actually coming back. He just left WWE. He's going to be at our show next week. Um, he was Juice Robinson with us for, you know, the first year and a half, right before he got signed. Um, we were his home place. Um, he spent, you know, basically the first year and a half or two years that he was actually working, working with us. Nice. Um, so, you know, a guy like that made it. Um, one of our referees that worked for us for years, Jason Harding, you know, he's now on the WWE main roster. He's on Raw every week, pay-per-views, WrestleMania. So we have a lot of guys that, you know, are kind of that future step too, that I think a lot of guys that have some potential and uh, we just try to give them an opportunity to, to improve and, and uh, give them the best chance to be seen. So if anybody wants to view your product but they can't get out there, what's the best way to look for you? Uh, if you go to smartmarkvideo.com, um, they have all of our shows on there. You can buy DVD. They do video on demand. Um, it's all HD. It's professionally filmed through them. So um, if you check them out, I think they're uh, at Smartmark Video on Twitter, uh, SmartmarkVideo.com, and I'll look up Dreamwave, and all of our shows are there. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time, man. Yeah, thank you very much. Have Appreciate a great it. rest of the weekend because uh, so far, so good with this line here. Yeah, thank you for having me, and uh, you guys have a good weekend too. Not a problem. Thanks, man. Later.